Hi everyone, my name is Dipesh and today we will be discussing about inactive relationship in Power BI, its uses and which function combination to be used with the help of an example. Here is the PBX file and I have loaded two tables, calendar date and fact order. So now if I go to the data view, in the fact order, we have the order details like order ID, order date, delivery date and sales. And if you notice carefully, there is always a lag between order date and delivery date by one month. So this particular order was placed in Jan and it was delivered in Feb. Similarly, this one was ordered in Feb and delivered in March. And now calendar date table has information about date, quarter and year. Pretty straightforward. And then if I go to the model, right now we don't have any relationship between fact order and calendar date table. So now what I'm going to do is drag this date and then drop it to order date. So create a relationship between date and order date. So as you can see, now we have an active relationship between calendar and order date. Now, if I go back to the report here, let me add a new measure. Sales by order date equal to sum of sales amount. Hit enter. And I will add a visual metrics. And then I will pick the dates from the calendar date table because we have a relationship between calendar date and then order date. So I can use this relationship and then bring it to the rows. And now bring the sales order by order date. Sales by order date. So as you can see here, we are getting the sales total for each month. However, let's assume that you want to also see the sales by delivery date, not just order date, by also delivery date. So how do we do that? So now we'll go back to this model and then create a relationship between calendar date table and fact order table using date with the delivery date. And now if you notice here, we have two relationship between these two tables, calendar date and fact order. However, the one which we just created is inactive and this is represented by dotted lines here. So basically it's inactive. And now I will go back to the report here and then add a new measure. Name this as sales by delivery date equal to I will use a calculate function sum of sales and use the function use relationship and then basically we are modifying the filtering context. I will pick the delivery date from the fact order table and then date from the calendar date close the parenthesis and hit enter just give it a second and now if i bring this to the values you should be able to see there is always one month lag between order date and delivery date so this particular order was placed in Jan and it was delivered in Feb. And that's what you see in the data. So as you can see, the first order was placed in Jan and it was delivered in Feb. The order value was 100. However, there is no delivery date for the month of Jan. And that's why you don't see any values here. And that's how we can use the use relationship function in Power BI. I hope this video was helpful. And if you have any questions or doubts, please drop me a note in the comment section and I'm going to revert back to you. And thanks for watching.